Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT, and I apologize in advance for the somber tone of this video, but to be honest, I just needed to talk about this with you because it's really all I can do as a content creator. Sometimes we forget that there's a corporate structure behind all of this and YouTube, the copyright claim system, and all the issues that are surrounding that. Article 13 going on in Europe right now, how that got approved accidentally. It came out that the people who were passing the law were selecting the wrong option because it got switched around on them or something. So they actually picked the wrong choice and passed the law. Article 13 has been approved. What's going to happen with that going forward? Who the hell knows? Uh, how's it going to affect the platform? Who the hell knows? I, I saw that happen and I was just like, God, you know, if there's one thing I've learned living on this planet, if there is a ridiculous law that gets proposed, it will find a way to pass almost every single time. And that is a scary scenario for civilization on the whole. It's not progress, it's regression. But the reason why I'm making this video, this is kind of roundabout, but uh, a friend of mine and a very good channel out there that if you're not familiar with, high quality tipster news he formerly tipster gaming he's shifted his focus he used to be all about gaming news and he's kind of morphed more into YouTube drama YouTube news and what's going on on the platform a really good source of information and if you get interested in random drama side stories things like that it's a good source for that because he does really good investigative work What's happened to him recently is his entire channel has been demonetized. Every single video. Why is that? Well, an intro that he uses apparently was taken from not a copyright free site, but a royalty free site, which apparently there's a difference. And on the royalty free site, it apparently had part of the song was sampling a song from another song that had the hold up lyrics and when that less than one second clip was used in its intro it was manually claimed by a bunch of different corporations all together today so his entire channel has been completely demonetized what's that mean for him well, he can go through and cut the intro on the ones that YouTube allows him to and argue them, but this goes back to a greater issue and why I wanted to make this video in the first place, and that is YouTube really needs to make some rules as far as what they allow people to claim on videos. Almost like an adverse possession law with land where if someone's been using something for a long time and nobody's claimed it, nobody's argued it, then they should be able to continue to use it. And I feel like this system that's in place is kind of like a too late but they can still claim whatever they want to, and if they miss it the first year or two, it doesn't matter. They're able to go back in time and say, oh, we missed that you were using our stuff. We're going to claim it going forward, especially when it's something that's less than one second. This is where the gray area comes in, because I could definitely see the argument of if you're using someone's copyrighted material without their knowledge and you're overly using it like aggressively to the point of basically stealing it or re-uploading it, which is what the point of this in the first place was supposed to be, then yes, I get that. But if someone is using less than a second, I mean, honestly, I always thought it was 10 to 15 seconds, but apparently it's anything. So keep that in mind as a content creator. Anytime you use anything that is not yours, it is up for someone else whose content it is to claim the entire video. Even if it's a 30 minute video or 40 minute video, if there's half a second that, that samples something from someone else, they can take the money from that entire video. And that is a really dangerous slippery slope that's very scary to be going down. And that's exactly what the path has been 
over the past few years with YouTube, the whole demonetization thing, not even a big deal. Adpocalypse, not a big deal compared to what this circumstance is bringing to the end users, the content creators. This happened the other day with Jacksepticeye where he quoted, apparently I sang Hooked on a Feeling so good in the intro to my ape out video that it got copyright claimed. Where's my Grammy? So not only is the copyright claim being enforced from people stealing or borrowing information from other sources, but now it can be claimed if you just reference it by singing, which is an entirely different slippery slope altogether because what happens if a string of words that I'm saying in a video happen to line up with lyrics to a song just because they're part of the song. Like, there are so many songs out there and there's so many strings of words together that it's going to naturally happen eventually and you're saying even if it's not part of the song, the context doesn't matter. It can be claimed because somebody heard you say the same words as what their lyrics in their song were. It's honestly a bit too extreme and that is the understatement of the century. We all know YouTube needs a complete overhaul when it comes to copyright claims and how this all works, but the weird thing about it is it just feels like YouTube has a very hands-off approach, like not our problem, we don't want to get invested in this because it deals with legalities and laws and if we touch it, we become a part of it. So YouTube has a hands-off approach and as a content creator, you're screwed. If someone claims your content, you can fight it, but if they claimed it, they can say yes or no, it's okay or not. There's nothing you can do about it. If they say, yeah, no, we claim that, and no, we're not gonna let you steal it from us, so, yeah, we're holding our claim. There's not much more you can do about it. You can try to fight it again, but then you risk getting a strike on your channel, and if you get three strikes on your channel, your channel is completely closed. So it's a very scary predicament to be in as a content creator, and not only that, but it gives all the power to the copyright holders and zero power to the content creators. Even though H3H3 won a lawsuit, what was it, last year? Talking about fair use and how they're able to provide commentary on their channel to something that's someone else's material. But in that case, it's commentary over someone else's content. But if you're not providing commentary and just using it, then it's out of context and you can get dinged. It's very complicated, it's very complex, convoluted. It's a huge gray area that feels like all the power is with the corporations and zero power is with the content creators. And at the end of the day, it just feels like this is suffocating creativity on the platform. It's stifling anybody wanting to do anything bigger than themselves because all they're doing is walking over eggshells, trying to avoid broken glass on the ground while they're making a video instead of focusing on what's actually important which is the content, bringing something entertaining to you, transformative, making it theirs, which I feel like is lost in all of this. People are so focused on, oh, you borrowed this from this person without their permission, even though it was less than three seconds, they didn't give you express written consent, so you're not allowed to do that. But then you are allowed to do that if you're a big channel and you're providing commentary on it. It just it doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. It's got a ton of YouTubers, including myself, very frustrated to the point of wanting to make a video on it. And this, like I said, circles back to what happened with Tipster today, how frustrated I am for him. The guy is a good dude. He works extremely hard on his content. And to see this happen to his channel for less than one second of a soundbite is just, it's absolutely insane. And that's where I'm going to leave this. But I'd love to hear how you guys feel about the YouTube situation, the copyrights, and how they're allowed to run them here. For people out there who are content creators, have you been hit with this kind of thing? How has YouTube and Team YouTube on Twitter reacted to it? There's so many different angles to take with this. Let's continue the conversation down below. I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing.
Master Chase.